In this video, we're going to look at how to configure FastSpring to integrate with your QLM License Manager. Let's get started. First, we're going to define a product, and then a product upgrade, as well as a maintenance plan within FastSpring. And then we're going to use FastSpring's tools to test the product purchase cycle and see the results in the QLM console. From this page, we're going to go to Products and Settings, and then to Products and Pages. Here on the left-hand side, you can see some of the other test products and services that we've set up. To start setting up your new product, over here on the right, click Create Product. First, we give the product a name, and you can see further down the page, FastSpring is building a partial URL path name for us. Here we tell FastSpring exactly what we're selling. In this case, it's a digital product or service with pricing of $100. I'll enter a short description for this product and also include an image that will appear on the order page. Once I've done that, I'll just click Create to create the product. FastSpring creates the product, uploads the image, and then gives us this status update with some next steps included. The next step in the overall process is to tell FastSpring how fulfillment works for our product. We start that process here by clicking on Add next to Fulfillment Actions. First, let's go to these three tabs at the top and select Licenses. Since we'll be retrieving information from the QLM web service, here we'll select Remote. I'm going to paste my Sirocco URL here. For proper integration with the QLM web service, we're going to select HTT POST as our method. Encoding will be UTF-8. And the license name type, we're going to choose Person Name and Email. The remote QLM server will be returning the license in plain text, single line license format. Now I'll click on Create to create the product and Save to save it. This question mark in the upper right hand corner of the QLM console gives you access to the Quick License Manager help files. Open the help file and drill down to Quick License Manager Professional, e commerce integration supported providers, and FastSpring for more information on these settings. That takes care of telling FastSpring how to retrieve the remote license information. And now let's look at setting up notifications that will go out to our customer. We're going to add another fulfillment action, so I'll click on Add, and then select Email slash Web Notification. From here, we have the option of using an existing template or creating a new one. We're going to define a new one, and I'm going to select Reusable on Multiple Products. And then here in the template name, I'll just give it a name that I will recognize later. In the email subject, I'll paste some scripting that will be replaced by a display name for our order item as well as an order number. Here under Email Text Contents, I'll paste a pre-formatted thank you. And I'll just make sure that this is clean and legible. Now I'll click Create. You can see at the top, FastSpring is telling us that they have generated our new email notification. Now that I've saved our new email notification, I'm just going to edit the template name to read QLM order. You can see here the email thank you letter that we just entered, and now we're going to add an HTML version as well. To do so, just click on this tab, and then I'm going to paste in some pre-formatted HTML that I had ready for the demonstration. 
You could create your own using an HTML editor, or Fastspring does offer some base templates that you can modify. And we'll take the same approach for a web-based order confirmation. The content you place here under the web tab is what's displayed during the ordering process right after the purchase is completed. I'm going to give the web page a title, paste in some previously prepared HTML code, and then click on Save. Now that we've told Fastspring how to retrieve the license information and how to fulfill the order, let's configure Fastspring to transfer the customer information over to the QLM web service. Click on the Notify icon in the upper right-hand portion of the Fastspring dashboard, Add Notification Rule, choose HTTP Remote Server Call, and configure the type for order notification. Here I'll paste in the remote server URL and click Next. Let's name this QLM Update User Information. Now we're going to add four additional parameters to what's existing on the screen right now. So just click the Add Parameter button four times. The first parameter will be called is underscore AV key. And here's the value that you'll put in this field. Next is underscore vendor and the value in this case is Fastspring. The third parameter is is underscore user with a value in this case for test purposes of John. And the last of the four additional parameters is called is underscore PWD. And the value for the demonstration is fast123. It's important to note that the user and password parameters are optional and they should be changed based on the values specified in your QLM application under Manage Keys, Commerce Providers, Fastspring. Now, click on Save to save your changes. This configuration will ensure what the user puts into their web order form is transferred back to the QLM web service. Okay, now let's test out our configuration. First, we're going to go to Store Testing, and then Detail next to Demonstration Product, and I'll click on Order Now, scroll down, and select Next, and then I'll click on Complete Order to finish the cycle. Fastspring displays the activation key created automatically by the QLM web service. Now let's pull up the QLM console and have a look at the information that was transferred back. There's the automatically generated activation key and we'll click on the Manage Customers tab, refresh the screen, and click on Edit. And there's your customer's information transferred from Fastspring via the QLM web service to your console. And here's an example of the email confirmation that your customer could receive. Here's the activation key. Now we're going to log into the Sirocco Demo Store and show you the Fastspring setup for maintenance plans. Just as we did previously to set up a normal product, let's go to Products and Pages. But instead of choosing Create Product, we're going to choose Create Subscription Product. On this page, we're going to name our product. and then choose a regular period length. They give you quite a number of options and I'm sure one will fit your product approach.
choose a recurring price. And now I'll click on create. FastSpring lets us know that our maintenance plan was successfully created. And the next step is to set up fulfillment. We'll click on add and then go to the licenses tab and choose remote. The URL for subscription products is different than that of a normal product. Please refer to the online help for details. I'll paste in my URL and the configurations on this page remain the same as they did for a normal product setup. The only thing we need to do here is change the license name type to person full name plus email. Then click on create. Next, we're going to set up a custom field to collect the activation key for the maintenance plan upgrade. Click on custom fields. And then over on the right here, create custom field configuration. The field we're going to add is called custom underscore refer, and it must be that name. I'll click on next, and now let's change the display to read activation key. This is the title that will appear in the caption bar on the order fulfillment page. The next step is to add a form field associated with the prompt where the user will actually input their activation key. Here we'll add the label next to the input field. And then I'll paste in the question description which appears below the entry field and then the question text which appears to the left of the entry field. I'm going to click on save and now I'm going to edit the conditions. This is where we'll set up an environment condition to communicate back to the QLM server that this is a maintenance plan purchase. From this page, select Order Environment Condition. Click on Next. And now the condition we're going to set up goes into the Environment Tag Exists text entry field. Now I'll click Create and Save. Now let's click on the Home button and go back and test this. Now our maintenance plan has been set up and is available for testing. Let's walk through the complete cycle, starting with creation of an activation key. First, let's go to the QLM console, click on Create, and set up a maintenance plan. I'll enter my email address here, then click on OK, now I'll go back into the same activation and click on the checkbox next to Maintenance Plan. I'll also capture the activation key while I'm here. Now let's go back to FastSpring under Store Testing and we'll set up our optional parameter Is Maintenance Plan. Back to Testing Links and then down to Detail and let's flow through an order. Everything looks good here. I'll click Next. and paste the activation key that I copied. Now we'll complete our order. And let's go back to the QLM console, refresh the screen, and I'll click on Edit. And we can see now that the maintenance plan renewal date has been updated by one year. Now we're going to look at the FastSpring setup for purchasing an upgrade. If you sell upgrades to a specific version of your software, you can integrate FastSpring with QLM's license upgrade feature. Configuration of FastSpring is very similar to setting up a regular product. We're going to go to Products and Pages, click on Create Product, Then it's just a matter of naming our product.
selecting the format, inputting a price, a description, and I'm going to include a product image here as well. Then we click on Create. Now let's add our first fulfillment option. As before, we'll click on the Licenses tab and then choose Remote and select Next to paste the URL. The upgrade URL is different than a normal URL. Please refer to the online help and then update the license name type as we did before. We'll click on Create and Save. And now we're going to set up our email fulfillment just as we did before. Now let's click on the Home button and we're going to add a condition to the custom field we already set up for the maintenance plan. Under Active Conditions, let's select Edit. And next to the existing tag, is underscore maintenance underscore plan, we'll add a comma to the end of that, and then is underscore upgrade. So now we have two environment tags. Now for this part of the demonstration, instead of purchasing an activation key, I'm going to set one up manually in the QLM console. I'll click on Create. The FastSpring order process will upgrade this Demo Version 1 license key to Demo Version 2. QLM confirms it's set up an activation key. And I'm going to select it and copy it. Now let's switch back to FastSpring. And if we go to Store Testing, now just as we did for purchasing the maintenance plan, we'll configure a tag to be used. The one we just set up is underscore upgrade. I'll select Order. Now let's scroll down, click on Next. And here I'll enter my activation key. And there's our confirmation. Now let's go back to the QLM console. And let's have a look at our record. There we go. Here on the console, we can see that the original 1.0 has been upgraded to 2.0.